This is Harvey Milk speaking from my camera store on the evening of Friday, November 18th. This is to be played only in the event of my death by assassination. I fully realize that um, a person uh, who stands for what I stand for, an activist, gay activist, becomes the target or the potential target for somebody who is insecure, terrified, afraid, or very disturbed themselves. Knowing that uh, I could be assassinated at any moment, or any time, I feel it's important that some people know my thoughts. Uh, and so the following of my thoughts, my wishes, my desires, whatever. And uh, I'd like to pass them on and have them played for the appropriate people. The first and most obvious and most concerned is that if I was to be shot and killed, the mayor as the power, that's George Moscone, of appointing my successor on the Board of Supervisors. So I would like to have him know what my thoughts are. I have never considered myself a candidate. I have always considered myself part of a movement, part of a candidacy. I considered the movement as a candidate. And I think that uh, I wish I had time to explain everything I did. Almost everything was done in the eyes of the gay movement. The other aspect of this tape is the obvious that is what should happen if there is a assassination and that is can I prevent it some people from getting angry and frustrated and mad but I hope they would take that anger and frustration and madness instead of demonstrating or anything of that type I would hope they take it to positive and I would hope five, ten, a hundred thousand would rise I'd love to see every gay doctor come out I'd love to see every gay lawyer every gay judge every gay bureaucrat every gay architect come out stand up, let the world know that would do more to end prejudice overnight than anybody could have imagined. Urge them to do that. Urge them. Come out. It's only that way will we start to achieve our rights. I hope there's no religious services, whatever, my God. First of all, I hope there'll be no services of any kind whatsoever, but I know some people are into that, and you can't prevent it from happening if they want to happen, but by God, nothing religious. I mean, until the churches break out and say the Anita Bryans have been playing gymnastics with the Bible into the church, churches which remain so quiet have the guts to get out and speak out in the name of Christianity or Judaism or whatever they profess, No, no services whatsoever. If anything, maybe just play that tape to Briggs and I, which is somewhere in the cabinet in the back, the file cabinet. Just play that tape to Briggs and I over and over again so people know what an evil man he is. So people know what Ali Hitler is like. So people know where the seeds of hate come from so that people know what the future is going to bring if they're not careful. And that's all I ask. That's all. I ask for a movement to continue, for a movement to grow, because Last week I got that phone call from Altoona, Pennsylvania. 
in my election gave somebody else, one more person, hope. And after all, that's what it's about. It's not about personal gain, not about ego, not about power. It's about giving those young people out there in Altoona, Pennsylvania's hope. You gotta give them hope.